Faith Odunsi, who represented Nigeria at the Global Open Mathematics Tournament, dominated countries including the United States, the United Kingdom, China, and more throughout the stages of the competition, beating the second runner-up with an unbelievable margin of 30 points. As this is a really good news. Let's talk about Faith, a 15-year-old Nigerian girl who answered 19 mathematical questions in one minute. Okay, and this is not even the biggest of our records. It is absolutely incredible. Let's learn more about her. A 15-year-old Nigerian, Faith Odunsi, has won the Global Open Mathematics Tournament, defeating participants from Europe, America, Asia, Australia, and other African countries. Uh, she is an SS3 student of the Ambassador School in Ota, Ogun State. She won the competition with a margin of 30 points at the finals, with the first runner-up scoring 10 points. That means she got 40 points points she says her school's extra classes helped her prepare for the competition let's now take a look at uh, miss adunsi as she answers about uh, 19 questions in a minute Carbopedia, 60 seconds of fame starts now. What is the... 2064. Correct. Multiply 1 over 3 by 5... 5 over 6. Correct. What is or are the prime Two. factors? Correct. The cost or price of a gas cylinder is 8,000... 24,000. Correct. What is the... 28. Point? Correct. What is the sum of the prime numbers between 1 and 5? 10. Correct. Convert 70% to... 7 five. over 10. Correct. Express 0 0.00... 2.4 times 10 is by minus 5. Correct. Convert... 0 0.8. Correct. Approximate 5 to... 5... 5 point... Um, 5... 530. Correct. Simplify 10 to the power minus 4. 0 0.00001. Incorrect. What is the square root of the product of 4 and 9? 6. Correct. How many hours are there from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on the same day? 6. Correct. Simplify minus 17 plus minus 8 plus minus 10. Minus 35. Correct. How many prime numbers is... 1. Correct. Find the value of 60 minus 70 minus 40. 13. Correct. Find the HCF of 8. 8. Correct. Evaluate the square root of 6 bracket 6. plus 2. Correct. Find the product of minus 4 and minus 24. 6. 24. Correct. Evaluate 25 minus minus 30. 55. Correct. Wow. Hey, my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Wow, indeed. 15-year-old Nigerian mathematics genius who goes by the name Faith Odunsi and a pupil of the Ambassador School, Otago State, has beaten contestants from all over the world to emerge the global champion in mathematics. Faith Odunsi, who represented Nigeria at the Global Open Mathematics Tournament, dominated countries including the United States, the United Kingdom, China, and more throughout the stages of the competition, beating the second runner-up with an unbelievable margin of 30 points. She was popularly known for solving 19 mathematical questions at a record time of 60 seconds, a feat that marveled the entire world present at the occasion. It makes me happy and honored Faith spoke about her win with punch. She won the National Olympiad competition before proceeding to represent her country at the global stage. Faith explained that some stages of the competition were tough as she was just getting used to the system. Because that was where I entered the tiebreaker. I didn't know the semi-finals, but it was got the same number of points. So we had to enter a tiebreaker. I was like, Faith, can you do this? Then when they give us the when they give us the question, I just I must do this fast. So I just quickly um, did my answer. Then I was scared of missing it, like because the reason, like, during the semi-finals, I made so many careless errors, maybe because I was scared, or maybe because, I don't know. So, I was just like, Faith, what if you make another careless error, and then just stop, end your chances of entering the finals? So, I cross-check, cross-check, then I typed in my answer. So, I was the first correct answer. So, that's how I qualified to the finals automatically. She said, I think the first was the toughest. There was a computer-based test, and we had to answer many questions in one hour. The quarter and semi-finals were on Microsoft Themes. We were asked questions, and we put in our answers. And the first to put in the correct answers got, then, got 10 points. She added, Speaking about how she prepared, Faith said she made sure the competition did not affect her academic activities. So it was after the school period that she had another class with her teacher who coached her for the contest. Her mathematics teacher explained the effort put in to prepare Miss Odunsi for the task. Immediately we saw the pairing, we saw there's a possibility of her committing 
people from United States, Philippines, and other countries that are doing well in mathematics. At first, she was afraid, but I was able to encourage her and let her realize that math is simple, math is easy. It's all about first to answer, think, look at the question, watch out for if there's any trap, and if you are able to identify that, you will be able to answer the question. Then I kind of inform her there's no question she can solve. She can solve it as far as she put her mindset. She also said she studied at night from 11 p.m. to 12 a.m. At the Global Open Mathematics Tournament, where she aced all questions, Faith came first with 40 points. Indonesia's Nicholas Lee came second with 10 points, while Philippines' Ralph Moses took the third position, thereby beating the runner-up with the incredible margin of 30 points. Born and raised in Nigeria, Faith discovered a passion for mathematics at a very young age with an insatiable curiosity and a natural aptitude for numbers. Faith quickly outpaced her peers. Faith's journey began in her early years when she started showing an extraordinary interest in the subject. Her parents and teachers took note of this and encouraged her to explore her passion for the subject. Faith's love for numbers became the motivating factor, pushing her to achieve way more than anyone both parents and teachers could have, could have envisioned or imagined. Faith's academic journey is truly a remarkable one. She's truly a born genius who deserves all the accolades. Not only is she talented, but she has also put in the work, tirelessly working and practicing to continue to improve herself. This has also rubbed off on her classmates and her friends who believe that they can do it too. It's Since my friend can do it, it means I can also do it. So yeah, it means that everybody can do it. So like, nobody's better than anybody. So like, I'm just more determined. I saw her working hard, so I knew that everything comes by working hard and not just by playing. That you have to work hard to achieve what you want or what you desire. She has won and excelled in the mathematics competitions nationally and internationally. She was declared queen of mathematics from GSS3 to SS3. She won gold at the National Mathematics Olympiad and has been recognized as a mathematical prodigy and one of the brightest young minds in the field. She also emerged the best candidate at the 2021 International Mathematics Competition after answering 19 questions in one minute, a record speed. She also took part in the Global Open Mathematics Tournament, an international competition with participants from Africa, Europe, America, Asia and Australia, where she outperformed every other participant and country. In 2018, Odunsi received the Record Older Award for the highest number of questions ever answered on Carl Bell Pedia Secondary School Mathematics TV quiz show. She intends to enroll for a bachelor's degree in computer engineering after high school. This is definitely a call to parents to pay attention so that they can give their children the support and tools necessary to develop their talents when they discover that their children seem to be gifted or talented in certain aspects. As Faith continues to make her country proud, gaining recognition both home and internationally, while also inspiring other young ones to pursue their passions in, in the academia, we can only wish her the very best in future endeavors. She has said she would like to study computer engineering after high school. Whatever path she chooses, let's hope Nigeria won't let this one slip away once again and end up using her talents to develop another country rather than her homeland where it all started. I think for me, what I learned most about this is that in order for a child's potentials to be maximized to this you know, type of level, parents really do have to be involved. Um, she has said that she would like to study computer engineering and she has also even said that she would like to study outside Nigeria. I actually found that article after I'd already even put this video together and I was like, wow, okay. So I'm, I'm sure most likely she's already outside the country, already studying in university right now. We don't have any um, updates. We don't have any latest on that. But if I do find it, I would update you guys. Even if it's just in my community tab, I will let you guys know. But I do hope that wherever she's doing, we wish her the very, very, very best. That is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to leave your thoughts down in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Bye, guys.